Yo, MRD. Welcome to another Centric tutorial. And it's been a while, I know, I've been very, very busy. But today, I'm going to show you how to best use fonts when you're working on your projects. Now, currently in Windows, we know that when you type a text on your screen, in order to change the, 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 um, the type of font that you're using, you'd have to select the select the text here and then come down into the properties. And then you would have to go to the font family and type in the location of the font. And uh, you know, of course, th that would be, you would have to go to into Windows, go into um, fonts and then, you know, copy the location and all that. And the process is very long. So what I recommend is, right, and uh, I've created a sample projects folder on my desktop. Right? And I've downloaded three fonts from fontsquirrel.com. I will put that in the description below. All right, so I have three fonts here that we will try out. So let's say that um, this is my project folder and uh, this is my project, right? Um, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the project file is saved within the same folder as the, um, the font. Well, save the project within the your project folder the overall folder so i'm going to go to file save as and i'm going to go to the desktop sample project and i'm going to call this test well test underscore font and click on save so we see that it is saved within the same folder now to use the fonts it's very easy when you do it this way right so let's say i want to change my text here to one of these fonts what you can do is just to copy the name of the font that you want to use and then select your font here and then come back down to font family and just paste it here and press enter and it will update the font here this is far easier than you um, typing out or copying the entire location of the font Right now, technically you're still doing it, but because the font is in the same project folder as the project, all you need to do is just to um, type the name or copy and paste the name and it will update. So let's go ahead and test the other two. Copy and paste here, enter, and we see it updated there. And let's go ahead and test the other one. So it works with pretty much, um, well, any font. So copy, and this, I think on Linux, you have the option of a drop-down list so you can easily change your font. But for our, us Windows users, it's not so simple, right? So you can do it this way. Now, if you're working on a large project, right, I recommend to put all your fonts within a folder for themselves. So let's go ahead and see how that would work. So. Um, I'm going to just create a new folder and call this fonts, right? So this would be where I store all the fonts for my sample project here. And I'm just going to um, place all of these fonts within the this folder here, right? And it doesn't matter what you call the fonts folder, right? You can call it whatever you want. Now, let me go back to my project. All right, so when, whenever you store the fonts within a folder, you'll have to make sure that you reference that folder, right? And it's the same thing as um, copying the entire path for where the font is located. So if I click back on my font layer here and I come to font family, we can see that it's looking for the font within the same space that the project file is. But now we've um, changed the location to fonts. So what you can do is just to copy the folder name here and come here and paste it in front of it and then make sure that you put slash and that's the forward slash and then press enter and it will update. So now it knows to go into the fonts folder and look for this particular font. And just to show you that it works properly, let's go ahead and change to another font here and click on paste, enter, and there we have it, the font being updated, all right? So I recommend whenever you're working on your projects um, 
to do it this way because if you were to let's say utilize a particular type of font and then you save your project and then you go on another um, computer and that computer does not have the font that you referenced then you won't see the, the the font type that you used on the first computer so but once you you package it within your projects folder the font will always be there for you to use whenever you open your project okay uh, just make sure that you look at the the rights of the font how to you know how the the author requests that you use it whether commercially or personally um you know the the, the whole license agreement but just make sure you read all all of that depending on where you download the font of of course if it's free then you're okay um so that's it for this tutorial and i will see you in the next one Yo, I'm hurting.